All right, guys, so here we go. You've already seen this process. So we're going to wrap our head form dummy in plastic wrap, and then we're going to put down a layer of foam. So now for this mask, you kind of want your foam to cover most of the head, and you're going to want to thicken it up just a little bit around the chin area. So once it dries after about 10 to 12 minutes, start shaping it. It's going to kind of look like a skull shape, but you want that chin, as you can see here, to kind of form an angle downward. And make sure that you put in your nose. Now your nose doesn't have to be too big, but you just want it to look like a human nose. So here, I laid down the chin, and the long strip is actually going to be your teeth. So after about 12 minutes, you're going to start forming your chin, and you kind of want it to cup in. And then take that long strip and just rip off some pieces and start making your teeth. Now you're going to want these teeth to be just a little bit bigger than normal, if you will. So here, you want to make sure that your chin's going to fit. And then you're just going to start hot gluing in your teeth. Now here you can see what I've done. I put the longer teeth on top. Now I've glued in the jaw and just started putting in the bottom teeth. Now you can put your teeth anywhere you want or you can just kind of follow what I've done here. So it's already looking pretty creepy. So I took it off and tried it on just to make sure it was going to fit and that I could see through the eye holes. And it's got a pretty cool shape. So now, once you've got that done, you're just going to start the painting process. So here, I just put on a light coat of gray, and then I went back over this with some Rust-Oleum sand color, and that just gives it a creepy flush effect. You can kind of see how it looks. I really like this color. So once you've got that dry, just start adding in your details. I used black and red, a little bit of purple, and you definitely want to go with a black wash around the eyes. And now we're going to put on the hair. I just had a bunch of old wig hair laying around. And I just used Elmer's Craft Bond. Now, when you put your hair on, you're going to spray a layer of the Craft Bond. And just start from the bottom to the top. And you can add in your hair however you want. I wanted my hair to be long and kind of stringy. And the good thing about the Elmer's Craft Bond is it actually acts like a hairspray and that you can make some wet, greasy, just nasty looking hair. And you can add as much of this as you want. Now, to cover up the eyes, again, you've seen me do this before. This is just some kitchen grabber mats from Dollar Tree. And you're just going to cut some shapes and hot glue those to the inside of the mask. Now here, I kept adding a little bit more hair because I really wanted this thing to have a creepy look. And here, you see me trying it on. I really like this one. So, I just started adding a little bit more painting details. And again, just use acrylic paint and take your time and you can add in as much detail as you want. And here's your finished project. 